All right. Now this is Stone Squid, and um, I'm trying to show how we can use bones in some of the effects that have been lately introduced into Toon Squid 2.0 and um, I've seen quite a few tutorials people doing the bone thing um, but there's still one thing missing which I'm about to in introduce to us here because I have been using Moho for a very long time Moho is a very good um, animation software but it is a desktop animation uh, software so this one is mobile right and it has bones and I know a lot of people will take advantage of that so I want to show us how to use the bones in here or how to rig with bones here in here with a very simple illustration of a stick stick man stick figure and then we can take it from there and do whatever we want with it but this is quite interesting that they have bones in a mobile application now so we're going to start with using the pen tool um, to do our sketches and up here on the right right hand top corner we can choose a shape the eclipse to just make the uh, figurehead All right and we're gonna switch back to the pen tool and in this software uh, or in this application whenever you drawing with a pen it forms a new layer by itself so you don't have to be the one forming the layer so now I want to draw the body or the torso and all I have to do okay I think that we're missing something here let me see the size of the pen <laughs> okay um, yep okay so we need to adjust something here you see the feel here we first of all need to take the feel all the way to zero level well that's still the head okay I'm gonna go let's go to the layer here and see what we are okay The stroke, I need to build the stroke up so we can see it. Okay, apparently it's doing for both layers. Uh, that is surprising. I don't know that that's what it's gonna do. Okay. See how this is doing corner here? If we just tap it again and, and and click symmetrical, it's gonna bend. Okay, which is I mean you may not want that, but this is what we want for this tutorial. This is exactly what I want for the body. I don't want it to be able to be cornered just like that. You know. Alright, so we're going to the next one. The hand. And we're going to do the same thing and put symmetrical and then we're going to do another hand here put the center one and put symmetrical and then we're going to do um, one leg and uh, put symmetrical and then we're going to do another leg from there and put symmetrical okay so we got um we got our body okay and everything can animate very easily okay so now what we want to do is 
add bones to this whole thing. So here we come here. Okay, now, so when we look, this is, um, we only have it on one. Everything is within one layer. Let's check the bones layer now, effects. Animation effects. Um, what's the bones? Click plus effects and then we'll go to bones. All right. Once we get to bones, we see, um, we see there the bone, add bone is already selected. So we can very easily start to add bones. And this is a trick I'm trying to show here because oftentimes, or rather, should I say, in all of the tutorials that I've seen, I've seen people add bone like this, and then the figure just keeps rolling like that, you know, and it doesn't have a, a central point. But coming from Moho, this is what we've done over the years, okay? We have a bone here that separates the body or the torso from the legs so that whenever you're animating you don't have to to start struggling with the stability of the figure you know you just click wherever i mean animate wherever you need to animate and that will be fine the st the figure will still be stable stable in that the waist doesn't spin the spin around spin the whole body around so now that we've done the upper part we're going to add to the legs now we select this same middle bone and then add bones to the legs like that always going back there so now whenever we want to animate this figure we can just animate the top there like so <laughs> and you see the body moving differently and the legs can also move differently. Oh, what's going on with this thing? Okay, Siri, Siri was trying to, uh, yeah. So now the legs can move differently also. You can move the legs differently. And this is now what rotates the entire body or moves the entire body from one point to the other and which is exactly all I'm just trying to show in this um, uh, uh, tutorial okay so for those of you who really want to use this software and you want to use bones this is how you use bones okay now if I want to add bones to the hands I go back and select like that chest bone and then I can add bones to the hands Select the chest bone again, add bone to the other hand. And that does that. That's exactly all you need um, to animate anything using bones. I know that a lot of people don't have experience with bones, but this is exactly what to do um, when you need to use bones. So now the body can animate differently from the legs you can animate the legs, move them anyhow, and you can use this middle bone here to move it forward from point A to point B, move it forward, backward, up and down, or if you have to rotate, then you know you're consciously doing the rotation. It's not like you're, you're doing the rotation, struggling with the stability of the figure because you don't know how to keep the figure stable, all right? And I hope that helps uh, a lot of people. And then, of course, you know, there's still this other part that I did not talk about earlier on. You can add bones that keeps the um, the legs grounded, so that you don't go sinking in the ground whenever you want to do that. And this is how you do that: you add a bone like that. Then you deselect the bone and then add a bone like that to this other leg. And now you point this leg, this bone here, 
of the leg to this bone here. And you have to look at the names of the bone in order to say to do that. You can rename everything, you can rename your layers, you can rename the bones. And here, this name here is B8. It is very clear there is B8. And this bone here is B13. So this B8 should point to B13, should target B13. So you come to this IK target and you hit, oh wait, you have to select the B8 first. Let's go back. Select this B8 and point it to B13. That's the name we said we saw, right? B13, okay. So you, do, you, you go to the IK target, which says none there, and you hit B13, right? So now watch this. The leg will be tied down whenever you move it. Bring it back there. Or rather, you can you can use that target to move the leg around, okay? And now, it's not going beyond that place. So if if you have to move this down, hmm, what happened there? This is supposed to be, this is supposed to be staying. I don't know what happened there. This, that means that, huh? hmm. Okay, so I've done this before and it worked. That means that this thing has some glitch somewhere. And I don't exactly know where that comes from. Right, let's see what number is this. This is B14 and this is B6. So let me target this to B14 and see what happens. Because that kind of looks strange or feels strange. Right, so that's what that is, right? It's not going down below where that bone is. And this bone, you can use it to do this animation front and back. And that's that. Everything else is pretty much easy. And I think that a lot of people have covered all of that. Um, like I, maximum IK stretching, you know, you can stretch this bone if you want to, you know, you can go ahead and stretch it. You see, the, 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 that leg looks, I mean, goes as far as you want. You know, it has, a, I think it has maximum, you know, or, you know, whatever it does. But that's all that is. And I hope this has helped somebody. And I hope I'm clear with my words, <laughs> trying to scramble to make sure that I get this in so through. Yeah. All right. That's two, two squid um, 2.0 for you. Bone animation or bone rigging. All right. Stay blessed and enjoy your animating.